Hi, it's Norman Koshnick here. I'm in Fremantle train station. Generally, this is an area of high activity, but in relation to a cricket ground not far away at the old Wacker ground, there was a famous term called the Fremantle Doctor. We just happened to have a gentleman here who was an exponent of that Fremantle Doctor in a big way. Left arm fast bowler from England, Alan Mullally. Come in, Alan. How are you, Alan? So, a question for you, Alan. The history of Fremantle, we know for a number of aspects, but in particular, Fremantle Box. Tell me about that tournament and where it came about. There's a few different stories, theories. My sister actually told me there's a doctor from Fremantle who was a doctor. But in the cricket world, it saved lives for us, the cricketers. The doctor would come in from the southwest. Behind us, we have the port, Fremantle Port. Behind that, the Indian Ocean. A lot of Indian Ocean. The winds build up from the southwest to make its way from Fremantle through the, the suburbs, through town, to the Wacker at about 2 3 in the afternoon. It would come in and it's February, just imagine, it's 40, 42, 3 degrees and it's hot, you're tired, you're drained. It's a tough test match. The doctor comes in and it's like a new lease of life. You feel 10 years younger. Give me that ball, I want a ball. It's going to come over that left shoulder and I'm good to go from the Lily Marsh stand. But back at you had Bruce Reed. Peter Case, Chris Matthews, all played international cricket, and you had the great man himself, Dennis Silly, from the stand named after him and the great Rodney Marsh, the Lily Marsh stand. Give me the ball, I'm good to go on my big long run up. You got the, all the crowd yelling, Lily, 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 he's G'd up, he wants to go, he's going to bowl quick, and he did, that's why he's the greatest. From the Lily Marsh stand, with the dock behind him and us, you cannot go wrong, but it did help the left armour over the shoulder with the in swinger. It's a huge flight when that big boy comes in. Thanks, Alan. I must say to you, it's not just your ability to remember such a great moment of your life being representative for your country, but you did it here actually in your homeland, West Australia. You used the Fremantle Locks as your advantage. You cleaned them up. You had the likes of Gilchrist, even Brian Lyle on occasions, Tendulkar, you name them, this band took it. Thanks, this is Norman Crossley. Thank you again. There. We love, love to have people like Alan Mullally here. This is Norman Koshnick here for Eyes on Cricket with Norman Koshnick. Should throw in Rev Sports and even extra time. This is Norman Koshnick.